Pinocchio, the most celebrated iconic puppet in the world, was the subject of a lecture given last night by Dr. Lindsay Myers from University College Galway for the foundation of Italian studies at University College Dublin. Is this ragazzo di strada that really, um, you know, is, is struggling really against all of these threats and um, that some of which are social, some of which are not, and um, that it, it can be it can be seen as heroic in that in, as a sort of people's heroism that it, it, that it is there, I think. You know? But I can see what you're saying about it not being, and it's certainly not, you can't say it's Marxist or Leninist or it's fascist or it's, you know, we can't give it a, a political direction in that way. Um, but it, in, in the sense of just fighting for freedom as being ethically free, I think it certainly fits that. You're free to disagree with this one. Dr. Myers talked about the hero quality of Pinocchio, the protagonist of Collodi's book which came out in the early 19th century and gained universal acclaim. She also touched on Pinocchio's mythical popularity in the world of literature, art and cinematography, drawing interesting comparisons with other iconographic, real-life characters in history. Pinocchio, Dr. Meyer said, is in the conscience of every child and adult on the four corners of the world. Is this ragazzo di strada that really, um, you know, is, is struggling really against all of these threats and um, that some of which are social and some of which are not, and um, that it, it can be it can be seen as heroic in that in, as a sort of people's heroism that it, that it is there, I think. You know? But I can see what you're saying about it not being, and it's certainly not. You can't say it's Marxist or Leninist or it's fascist or it's, you know, we can't give it a, a political direction in that way.